Basically, you want to actually get these dumbbells out away from your body. Away as opposed to up over your head. Hey, what's up, man? Gary Walker here with Live Anabolic, and welcome back for another video. All right, this is another old school video. So I'm gonna take you through and show you how to do an old school bodybuilding style dumbbell shoulder workout. All right, so the golden era bodybuilders were known for wide and round shoulders. All right, so one of the things that you'll see that was very common with all bodybuilding style training was high volume, all right? High volume days, they would typically work shoulders once per week, but they would put a lot of volume and intensity into that one workout, so they needed a full week of recovery. All right, so I'm gonna take you through these exercises that are designed, build full shoulders, round shoulders, and wide shoulders. After I explain the exercises at the end, I'm gonna show you how to structure this if you wanna do this actual workout yourself so you can start building some of those amazing shoulders. All right, the first overall exercise is gonna be a compound shoulder exercise. So the compound movement is basically gonna work all three heads of the shoulders. So the first one, we're gonna do dumbbell overhead presses. All right, so I'll show you basically what you wanna do here. So anytime you're doing a overhead press, the first thing I like to ask my clients, how's your lower back, how is your core strength? All right, if you got good core strength, your lower back is strong, then you can do the standing. All right, because again, back in the day, there was a lot of standing overhead pressing. If you have a weak core or your lower back is somewhat weak, then what I want you to do is do this same exercise, but in a seated position. All right, just get a normal 90 degree bench. That way you have some lower back support and you're still gonna get the same benefits when you're doing this exercise. All right, so the main difference between a standard bodybuilding style overhead press is we're using dumbbells because they're safer for you now that you're an older man, safer on your shoulder joints compared to the barbell press. All right, so what we're gonna do with the dumbbell overhead press, I like to use more of a semi-neutral grip. Barbells, you're in this fixed position here, which is really hard on your shoulder joints. Since we're using dumbbells, we can rotate that in, keep your palms a little more facing each other, all right? So let me show you what this looks like with the, the actual cadence. All right, so as you can tell, I was controlling the movement, all right? The overhead press, again, I mentioned was a compound movement. That's gonna be the main mass builder. You're putting everything into that overhead lift. But if you notice, I wasn't allowing the weight to drop back down. You still wanna control what's called the eccentric portion of the movement, the downward phase. Make sure you're lowering under control so the brunt of that force is still on your shoulders. That's gonna be the first exercise. Typically when you're doing bodybuilding style workouts, most of the workouts were done in straight sets. Again, I'm gonna tell you in a minute how to set it up, but what you would do is set one, two, three, four. Once you're done with this first exercise, then you move on to the second exercise, all right? That's how this workout is gonna be structured. So basically what we did, worked with that compound movement. Exercise number two is gonna be more for the medial delts, that's gonna give you that wide look. Cool thing about wider shoulders, also makes your waist look smaller. So again, as an older guy, that's a really key benefit. All right, so the second exercise that we're gonna do, dumbbell side lateral raises. Basically when you do this, this is more of a, it's not a full range of motion movement. You'll see people trying to lift this all the way up like they're trying to get it up towards the ceiling. Basically, you wanna actually get these dumbbells out away from your body, away as opposed to up over your head. That's what you wanna think about with each of these reps. Keep your core tight, out, just like that. Nice, slow, under control.
All right, so that's gonna be a key exercise to getting those shoulders wider. All right, once you finish with the lateral raises, the next exercise I want you to do is a dumbbell upright row, all right? That was really popular back in the 70s and 80s. Here's the thing about the upright row though, you see a lot of people doing these with barbells, all right? Barbells and using a terrible form when they're doing that. So the upright row is designed to be a very minimal range of motion movement. Meaning, let me show you what it would look like if I had a barbell. If I had a barbell, you're in this fixed position. Hands are in what's called a pronated position. Palms are facing my body. And then you would see people raising this all the way up and down. All the way up and down, all right? That's stressful for your elbows, your wrists, your shoulders, and it activates your traps far too much. So not a very good shoulder exercise. It's a lot more dangerous when you're doing it that way. You can still get tremendous benefits, but using the dumbbells instead, also a small range of motion. So let me show you what this looks like first. Instead of going all the way up here, I want you to focus on taking your elbow out and slightly up. You're not bringing your elbow straight up. It's out first, which is gonna activate the medial delt, out and then a slight movement up. This is as high as you need to go. Straight back, down and in at that position. Just like that. So let me do these to demonstrate what it should look like. All right, small range of motion movement. When you do it that way, here's what happens. First, you're not engaging your traps very much. So all of the work is going on two areas. All right, so you're getting a lot of work in the medial, which is gonna, again, add to the width. You're getting some on the anterior, which is gonna make the front delt stand out. And you're getting a little bit in the posterior, which is going to warm that up and get you ready for this next exercise which is a bent lateral, all right? Bent lateral raise is similar to the standing side lateral. However, we're bringing our bodies down in a bent position, which is creating a different angle, and it's gonna allow you to hit more of the posterior delt, the rear delt, all right? So that's what you wanna do here, rear. Again, small movement, I'm stuck here, that's perfect. Down and in. a small movement as well just like that elbows are driving out and then up out first and then up and then when you do this nice slow and under control all right that is the bent lateral raise so basically with all the exercises we've chosen we've worked all three delt heads, which is gonna give you that round look. But no shoulder workout would be complete without hitting those traps. Okay, you'll see some people add their trap training into their back work. I've always liked working my traps with my shoulders, all right? It's one of those things, you get these nice little mounds here and then a mound there. So they kind of go well together. And when you're working your shoulders, you are activating your traps anyway. So your traps are gonna be ready for some work when you're done working your shoulders. So basically, I like to choose a dumbbell shrug. Shrugs are actually a really simple movement. All right, so all you wanna do, you do wanna use a three second hold at the top of each rep when you're working your traps. I've seen people do little movements just like this. Shrugging, like you're shrugging your shoulders. All right, you wanna get these up as high as possible, just like this, as high as you can, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, lower under control, high, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, under control, high again, all right, just like that. Let me do a few of these for you.
And one more. All right, so that's how you wanna maximize each rep. You don't wanna just quickly go and right back down, quickly go. You wanna hold and squeeze that contraction for three seconds. That's gonna be the best way to give you that trap growth. All right, so doing all of these is gonna complete your actual workout. But if you remember at the beginning of the video, I told you bodybuilding workouts, high volume. So basically what you would wanna do if you're gonna do this workout, you can do a typical bodybuilding type of volume workout, four sets of each of these exercises. All right, four sets, five exercises, that's 20 total sets. The main thing you also wanna focus on is your rest. Back in the day, people went as heavy as possible, which required more rest between sets. So there was workouts that lasted two to three hours. That was standard for a typical bodybuilding workout. However, man, you're over 40, there's no reason to do that. There's no reason you should have to take that much time with your workout. So what I recommend, you can actually lower the volume, all right, three sets of each of these, 15 total sets, and that's including your traps, which isn't too high volume. And also you wanna make sure you're doing anywhere between eight to 12 repetitions with each of these exercises. Eight to 12 repetitions with each, three sets each like I mentioned, and then also the rest period should be about 90 seconds. 90 seconds rest just to make sure you have enough time to recoup so you can lift as heavy as possible with each succeeding set. Because again, that's how this is structured. You do the overhead presses first. Once you've done your three sets, then you move on to your lateral raises. Do all three of those sets, then you move on to the upright rows, all right? That's how you structure it. And you do that instead of the typical giant set. This is how you structure your bodybuilding workout. You can get tremendous growth doing this type of workout. Just make sure you allow for enough recovery. All right, we are cutting back on the volume. So you can actually do this again every five, maybe six days. The standard back in the day when you do 20 to 30 sets for a body part was that seven days. You know, you had that huge break. Do it on Monday, you do it the next Monday. Then the next Monday, that's what people would do. But no need to wait that long if you're limiting the amount of volume and you're controlling the movement a little bit better, which means you're gonna be using a little less weight. But do this workout, man. Let me know what you think. It's a great old school workout. If you like this one, make sure you check out some of the other old school bodybuilding videos that we've done. Did a back one, a chest one the other day. So go back and check those out. I've got a couple more to do. So you can get a whole old school bodybuilding series put together if you're interested in working out this way and uh, you'll get a full body workout out of it, man. But other than that, that's all that I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.